good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back with another awesome tinkercad tutorial so let's get cracking of course friends we're going to start with create new 3d design now this project is going to use a half sphere and a user reached out brian and asked how we would add holes to this that were at a 45 degree angle. Friends, I've got a strategy. Let me show you how it goes. So first I'm gonna stretch it out and I'm gonna make it 50 on every side. I was gonna type it, but I got lucky and it just landed there. I'm gonna cut in the cylinders just like this. I'm going to shift squeeze and I'm gonna choose a size five and press enter. I'm gonna stretch them out so they're 30. And then Brian said he wanted to rotate them 45 degrees so right there that's two tick marks or if we hold down shift it goes 45 degrees in one move so now I'm gonna line this up I'm gonna decide where I want mine that's gonna be the spot I pick I am gonna select it and I'm gonna do L for a line and I want it just like that now to get these all the way around we use this technique I'm gonna do control D I'm gonna nudge it to the other side. If you do shift nudge, it goes twice as fast. And I'm going to use mirror to flip it the other way. Now I'm gonna nudge this out close to where the other one is. So that's similar. I'm gonna make it perfect by shift selecting and then grouping and then selecting that and doing L for a line. And I wanna make sure it's aligned this way. So now I have got my two 45 degree holes when I do control D, I can rotate that any number of degrees I want. I'm gonna choose to go 45 degrees, which once again, I could do shift 45. Whatever you pick, you do wanna have it divisible by 360. And then if you do control D again and again without touching anything else, you have all of a sudden got your awesome shape where you can group it and it cuts in those cylinder holes. Now, once again, I am not sure why we're building this, but Brian asked for it, so therefore, I built it. Now, I am going to do something fun and cut this out. If I hold down shift and stretch this a second time, and I'm going to make this one 48, I'm going to turn it into a hole, and let's select this, do L for a line, make that one the boss. I always like to look at it from the corner so I can see where those middles are. I want here and this will be over on this corner and here and if I group that we have got some kind of silly hamster ball or crazy dome house whatever you want to call it friends I'll show you one other cool thing if you want to shut off this grid it is this easy if you want to give it a cool background color you can click just like that and then of course if you want to share it with the world you can click back here to the Tinkercad workspace click on the item change its properties in the description of course I'm going to add this tutorial and there's all these ways you can meet me give it a few tags if you want me to see what you created type HLMT 23 you can do this for my projects or anything you want me to check out and then of course make it public and then I always choose no derivatives because I want you to come up here use the tutorial and gain some epic skills once again I want to thank Brian for the question I love solving stuff like this and I hope you all find this project super useful friends I do want to quickly remind you about my website hlmodtech.com I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad tons of amazing categories and then also day one lessons useful starters and Tinkercad essentials friends there is also the sweet built-in messaging tool you can click that button add your question comment or suggestion and reach me almost instantly I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad community discord as you can see we've got more than 700 members and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.